Hey everyone, so I am wearing the same exact thing as my last video, but I wanted to make another video for you guys because it's hard for me to be able to find time to make videos right now because of school and work, but anyway, just that's why. Um, this video is going to be on products I regret purchasing. Um, these products I will probably try and continue to use, but as of right now, um, I just, I just don't like them. I've been trying them out and I don't like them. I'm just not as satisfied as I thought I would be with these products. They're all in this little Sephora bag right here. And yeah, so let's just get started. Um, also, if you have any tips for me of how to use these products to get them to work better, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so the first one is this Victoria's Secrets Pro Airbrush FX Face Primer SPF 20. Looks like this is in a pump, which is really nice. But what I don't like about this is that it has like a, it has a weird scent to it. And although it feels nice, it, it has shimmer in it. I, I don't know. I guess I didn't know that when I bought it, but it has shimmer in it. Like maybe like a pearlescent kind of shimmer, which I don't know if I really like that or not. Um, I just never reach for this product because of the scent and because of um, the fact that it has like little shimmer and iridescence in it. Um, yeah, it just it smells funny. But yeah, I mean, I'll try and work with it for a little bit and decide if I should toss it or if I should keep it. So like I said, if you have any tips on how to use this product, please let me know down below. Another product that I regret purchasing is this Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in 20 Peach Satin. Now I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this and they seem to really like it, but I don't know if I just don't know how to apply this right or what, but like I get a little bit on my finger and then I blend it out. But for me, it's very shimmery and I don't know if I'm just someone that likes matte things on my face like matte products blushes and stuff but just don't know how to work with this and I've tried using um, my fingers I've tried using the brush I don't know it just it doesn't really work right and um, I just find that when I apply it like with a brush and sometimes even with my fingers it looks patchy like it looks like I applied more in one area than another but yeah again if you have a really good tip on how to use this please let me know but right now it's just it's a regret Another product from Victoria's Secrets is I went in there and asked for um, a lip gloss that didn't have shimmer in it. And for some reason, the lady showed me this. And so I bought it. Um, it's the Victoria's Secret Br Brilliant Lip Shine in Mischief. And it's pretty, but it's so sparkly. Like, so sparkly. I don't know why she would have told me about it. it. has that snap button on the end to bring out the product. So it looks like that. And I mean, it's a really pretty color, but it just, it has a lot of shimmer in it and that's not really what I was looking for. And I don't tend to reach for this that often. So that's also a regret. I bought this when um, CVS was having their 50 and 75% off of some of their makeup. And this is the Revlon Age Defying Concealer. And I think I got this in light number one. And this, it's a nice concealer if what you're looking for is highlighting, but it doesn't cover my dark circles at all. So I was kind of disappointed. I would recommend it if you're looking for a concealer that is um, more highlighting. Um, and I will probably use it for that purpose, but I really like concealers that will cover my under eye circles. That's my biggest issue. So yeah, kind of regret purchasing this. Another item is from Clinique, and this one I regret purchasing because it's a concealer. It's the Acne Solutions Concealer, and it's in shade one, and it works pretty well on um, it works pretty well on getting rid of your blemishes. But I feel like you can't wear makeup over this, and you can't really wear makeup under this. Um, it's very drying and it kind of flakes a bit while you wear it. So it's not something that I would wear out of the house. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll probably still use it for acne treatment when I do get acne, but I won't be wearing this out of the house like I originally bought it for. It's last two items. These are both from Ulta. This one is the Double Duty Primer and Foundation. I got this in Classic 
ivory looks so thick and I've tried applying this with um, moisturizer and I tried using my beauty blender with it and it just does not work and it just it doesn't work very well I don't know I've tried it different ways and I, I just can't get it to work so if you have any suggestions for me please let me know because I would love for this to work because it's an okay color on me but just it's so thick and I don't know how to get it to work <laughs> Um, so this is a regret. Double duty concealer and dark circle treatment. Like I said, I need to cover those dark circles. So what I don't like about this is first of all, it's in the color medium because it's all they had. They didn't have light and it's too dark for me. But what else I don't like about it is as you can see, it's got a roller tip. Okay. It put nothing on my hand, nothing. It didn't put anything on my hand. It still didn't put anything on my hand. So like the roller ball like barely works. Like Okay, now it's putting it on my hand. And it's like I have to like squeeze it out, which I understand that that might be why it has that kind of packaging. But then when you squeeze it out, it gets all disgusting looking. And I don't know, I just don't, I don't like it. So I don't, I don't even know. I might try and use it in the summer, but I just don't like how it applies. I don't like that. I'd rather it just be a squeeze too. That is it for my products that I regret purchasing. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And again, like I said, if you have any recommendations on how to use these products, please, please let me know because I do want to still play around with them a little bit more, but I do regret purchasing them. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Bye.